Have you ever felt stuck wondering why your efforts aren't paying off? The secret might lie in the power of visualization. Visualizing your goals correctly is going to trigger an incredible shift in your life, and the universe making you watch this video is a sign. You are about to witness the biggest change in your life after this video. Keep watching the teachings of Hermes Magistus. Dating back to 3000-5000 BC highlight. The idea, as within, so without Hermes celebrated as the thrice greatest for his mastery over physical, mental, and spiritual realms, is the founder of Hermetic teachings. This wisdom underpins modern personal development, concepts emphasizing the all-space, a realm, encompassing every potential reality, and quantum possibility. Our current reality, much like a chosen TV channel, reflects our thoughts and... Emotions. We align ourselves with specific realities by focusing our thoughts and feelings in a certain way. For instance, if you believe you're only deserving of your current salary and home, that's what you'll manifest in your life. It's like tuning into a specific frequency on the radio, attracting that version of reality. Consider the idea of taking action in the world when we, we try to change our surroundings. We use a lot of energy but our influence is limited to what's immediately in front of us. These actions have direct, immediate effects. But what about influencing future events or possibilities? This is where our internal actions or interactions come into play. Our feelings drive our actions, shaping not only what we do, but how we do it. For example, making a video with the intention of positively impacting others will naturally lead to a different approach than just wanting to finish the task. Most people think doing the right things leads to desired results, but that's not always true. Without heartfelt engagement efforts often become a struggle leading to limited success. This is where internal action becomes crucial. By envisioning our ideal scenarios, we can bring them to life. Neville Goddard, a major advocate of this concept, taught the importance of feeling and visualizing our desired outcomes. Mastering this art of visualization, along with three key techniques, can significantly influence your future and transcend the limitations of your current circumstances. Visualizing the reality you want, start by imagining the life you want. Think of the perfect scene you would like to see unfold most of the time. People get caught up in past mistakes or current problems. But what sets successful entrepreneurs apart is their focus on the future on what they want to achieve next. They don't dwell on yesterday's disappointments or today's challenges. The key to shaping your reality is to realize that the present quickly becomes the past. It's normal to face setbacks, whether in business or personal life. But once something has happened, there's no point in worrying over it or giving it more of your energy. What matters is where you direct your attention. Now, that's where the magic of visualization comes in to visualize. Effectively, you need to understand two main aspects. First is goal visualization. If you're writing notes, jot this down. Goal visualization is about picturing a future outcome that you're going to make. Real choose a goal now, something you want to achieve in the next year as you envision this goal. Let your imagination run free picture, not just the goal itself, but also the steps you'll take to get there. Imagine the feelings of success, the sense of accomplishment. This isn't just daydreaming. It's a powerful tool for motivation. By regularly visualizing your goal, you're programming your mind to recognize and seize opportunities that will help you achieve it. Another key aspect is... Positive reinforcement surround yourself with affirmations and positive thoughts about your goal. This helps to strengthen your belief bell in your ability to achieve it. Remember, doubt and negativity can be significant barriers to success by maintaining a positive mindset. You're paving the way for your vision to become a reality. It's also crucial to break your goal into smaller, manageable tasks. Big goals can feel overwhelming, but when you break them down into smaller steps, they become more achievable. This approach not only makes the process less daunting, but also provides you with small victories along the way. Keeping you motivated also be flexible in your approach. Sometimes the path to your goal may require adjustments. Be open to change and willing to adapt your strategies as needed. This flexibility will not only make you more resilient, 
but also open up new avenues for achieving your goal that you might not have considered initially visualizing the process. The second part of visualizing your dreams is called process visualization. Think of it as focusing on the journey, not just the destination. It's not about stressing over every little detail of how you'll achieve your goals. Instead, it's about starting with what you already know taking one step at a time. That's the real power of visualization in action. Unlike goal visualization, which is like imagining a snapshot of your life after you've achieved your dreams. Process. Visualization is more about the action. It's about picturing yourself doing the things necessary to move closer to your goals. So, if you're unsure how to reach your next big milestone, don't worry. Just think of one simple step you can take right now. Imagine yourself taking that step successfully. Let's take the example of an artist painting a masterpiece or a mother teaching her child to walk every day. The mother visualizes her child learning new skills, growing stronger. The artist imagines each brushstroke improving the painting. They may not know the final outcome, but they focus on the process, the gradual improvement. This is crucial because aligning your thoughts and feelings is key to making your dreams a reality when you feel positive and focused. Every action you take brings you closer to your goal. Think of it as a game where each level you complete gets you closer to the final boss in real life, every, every small task. You do gets you closer to your big goal. It's like being in a video game where you have to pass smaller levels before you get to the big challenge. Every small task is important, and imagining doing it well can help you actually do it better. Process visualization also helps you deal with surprises and changes. Imagine you're building a model airplane. Sometimes a piece doesn't fit, right? Or you might lose a part. Instead of getting upset, you imagine finding a solution, like using a different piece or changing the design. This is just like facing challenges in real life when something doesn't go as planned. If you've already thought about how to handle difficulties, you'll be better at solving the problem. So for your next big goal, choose something a bit daring, slightly outside your comfort zone as you practice visualizing both the goal and the process. You'll find yourself growing more confident. Your bounder is expanding. You'll be surprised at how much closer you can get to those once distant dreams as you embrace this method of visualization. You'll start noticing changes in your daily life. Like, I can visualize you subscribing to the channel right now. Thanks. Now moving on. Small actions will begin to align with your larger goals. You'll find yourself making decisions almost subconsciously that support your journey. This isn't magic. It's the power of a focused mind. By visualizing not just the what, but the how you're programming your subconscious to recognize and seize opportunities that align with your goals. Furthermore, this approach can apply to any aspect of life, whether it's improving personal relationships, advancing in your career, or developing a new skill. The process remains the same. Visualize yourself taking the necessary steps. Feel the emotions of each small, small victory and keep moving forward. Remember, obstacles are a part of any journey, instead of getting discouraged. Use visualization to tackle these challenges. Picture yourself overcoming hurdles and growing stronger from these experiences. Each challenge you visualize and overcome in your mind prepares you better for real-life situations. Also, celebrate every small success. Along the way, each step you visualize and then achieve in reality is a milestone. Acknowledging these achievements fuels your motivation and reinforces the belief in your ability to reach your ultimate goal. This continual cycle of visualization, action, and celebration keeps the momentum going, turning what once seemed like a distant dream into an achievable reality, visualizing the intentions, the third key. Element in bringing your dreams to life is intention to truly shape your reality. You need a clear goal a well-thought-out process, and a strong commitment to both. There are two kinds of intentions, inner and outer. Inner intention is about your personal determination to act and achieve something. It's the usual approach. Most people and experts suggest work tirelessly, spread your message on social media. Push yourself to the limits. This is great for those who need a push to get moving. Imagine you're playing a sport or a game. You have a strategy, right? 
but sometimes during the game, things change and you need to adapt. This is just like following your dreams. You have a plan, inner intention, and a belief in success. Outer intention. But sometimes life throws a curveball, and you need to change your plan. This flexibility, combined with a strong belief in your goal, keeps you moving forward no matter what think of your goal, like a treasure map. Your inner intention is your compass guiding you in the right direction. Your outer intention is like the wind in your sails pushing you forward. Sometimes the wind changes direction and you need to adjust your sails. This doesn't mean you're off course, it just means you're adapting to get to the treasure faster. However, if you're aiming for something extraordinary, you'll want to blend this with outer intention. Outer intention is about believing deeply that you will achieve your goals. It's like knowing the end of a movie. You're certain about the outcome, but you're excited to see how the story unfolds. This is where the magic of visualization comes in. You imagine not only the steps you'll take, but also how your goal will materialize almost effortlessly. Adding to this, embracing this approach transforms not just your actions, but also your mindset. You start to see challenges as opportunities, setbacks as learning experiences. This shift in perspective is crucial. It's not just about working hard, it's about working smart. Aligning your actions with your deepest intentions, your journey will also be enriched by the people you meet and the experiences you gain. These are not random events, but pivotal moments that contribute to your growth. Pay attention to these encounters. They often hold valuable lessons and opportunities that prep P you forward. Moreover, as you practice intention visualization, your confidence grows. You'll find yourself more prepared to take on bigger challenges, more complex projects, and even more ambitious goals. This increased confidence is a natural byproduct of seeing yourself succeed in your mind's eye over and over again. Your plans might change what seems like the right step. Today might evolve tomorrow. That's okay. The key is to keep your goal in mind and let your actions and intentions guide you towards it. It's about doing your part and then allowing the universe to help knowing it might have even easier paths for you to follow. Now that you've grasped this concept, it's important to delve into another crucial aspect that will accelerate your progress and bring everything together. This second part involves the practice of envisioning your ideal self-vision. Visualizing the ideal self when you embark on your personal journey, you'll find yourself caught between two versions of yourself who you are now and who you aspire to be your ideal self. This ideal self, or the 2.0 version of you, represents the growth and transformation you undergo along the way as you reach new milestones. You're not just achieving goals, you're evolving into a new person. This change is a fun. Al part of the journey, but often we wonder why the keys to our success or failure seem so elusive. Think of this journey like climbing a mountain at the bottom you might feel unsure and a little scared, but as you climb higher, you learn new skills, become stronger, and gain confidence. This is just like your journey towards becoming your ideal self. Every challenge you face and overcome makes you more like the person you want to be. It's not just about reaching the top of the mountain, it's about who you become along the way. Also, imagine your journey. Like a story in every good story, the main character goes through changes and grows. This is what you're doing in your life. Each day is a new page, and every experience is a chance to learn and grow. You might not be your ideal self yet, but every day you're writing your story, getting closer to becoming, becoming that character you want to be. Just keep turning the pages and moving forward in your story. Here's Something to consider in this journey of self-transformation. The real growth lies in the questions you ask yourself. It's not just about finding answers. It's about understanding the depths of your aspirations and challenges. These questions spark a deeper introspection, guiding you towards defining your ideal self as you question and explore. You'll find that your understanding of your ideal self becomes clearer and... More attainable, this clarity is crucial as it influences the decisions you make and the actions you take. 
Because of this, the quality of our lives hinges not on the answers we stumble upon, but on the quality of questions we dare to ask ourselves. Engaging in daily self-reflection and inquiry helps in sculpting this ideal self more distinctly. This involves the three important steps, imagining the super-self. Firstly, imagine. What qualities your ideal self, the 2.0 version of you, would have if you were to reach your goal? Think about the five extraordinary abilities or superpowers that this better version of you would possess. What does this ideal version look like? What are the unique strengths that they have which you might only have a little of right now? Picture this ideal self in vivid detail. Perhaps they are more confident, have incredible problem-solving skills or an unmatched ability to connect with others. Maybe they can manage time exceptionally well or have an endless supply of creativity. It's essential to clearly visualize these traits as they form the foundation of the person you're striving to become. Remember, these superpowers are more than just a daydream. It's about setting a clear direction for your personal growth. Each of these, imagined abilities highlights areas where you can develop yourself further. For instance, if one of your ideal self-superpowers is exceptional communication, start working on enhancing your communication skills. Also consider how these superpowers would impact your daily life. How would they change the way you approach challenges, interact with others, or pursue your goals? Envisioning this not, not only motivates you, but also provides a practical roadmap for your personal development journey. By aligning your actions with these desired traits, you gradually transform into that ideal version of yourself. Define five key habits. Next, think about the daily habits of your ideal self. What are the five key routines or practices they follow every day without fail? And then imagine the style of this ideal version of you. What's their fashion sense? How do they choose their clothes? Do they prefer simple, affordable items or high-end, luxurious pieces? This is your chance to completely redesign yourself free from what society expects or dictates if you were recreating yourself from scratch to achieve your big goal, like making $110,000 a month. What would you want to embody in your ideal self envisioning these daily habits and style? Choices is not just about wishful thinking. It's about setting a blueprint for your transformation. Each habit and style, choice reflects the values and priorities of your ideal self. For example, if your ideal self exercises every morning, it's a sign of valuing health and discipline. If they dress sharply, it indicates self-respect and attention to detail by gradually incorporating these habits and style choices into your life. You start living as your ideal self, bringing you close, closer to your goal. Step by step, this process of adopting new habits and styles is a powerful tool in shaping not just your future, but also your identity. This aspect is crucial in the concluding section. We'll explore the practical steps to manifesting your ideal self. But before we dive into that, I'd appreciate it if you could take a moment to share your current thoughts and key takeaways in the comments your feedback is in invaluable in helping us create more tailored content for you so let's jump right into the final phase embodiment here we integrate all the concepts discussed so far and truly become the person you've envisioned this is the embodiment phase arguably the most crucial step but it won't be effective unless you've diligently followed the initial two parts Part A of becoming your ideal self involves how you tackle tasks. Consider, how would your ideal self perform this action? It's not just about doing something, but the spirit and intention behind it. Would you do it half-heartedly or with all your heart? Think about who you are in those moments. For instance, whether you're working on your business, creating a video, writing a blog post, or talking to your partner. How would your ideal self handle these situations? Secondly, we've discussed the significance of decisions, and intention is about being resolute in your choices. Every decision leads us down different paths in life. Picture a fork in the road. Each turn represents a different outcome or reality to ensure you're on the quickest path to your goal. Constantly ask yourself, what would my ideal self do in this situation? 
This helps you in making choices that align with the person you aspire to be. The final aspect resembles what method actors do. They understand that the persona they adopt gradually becomes their reality. If you consistently act and think like your ideal self, even if it feels like you're just pretending at first, you'll eventually grow into that role.